This is all your fault! Good morning, Jean. I hope you have rested well. There is much work to be done. Uh, whose voice is this? I'm sure you are confused, disoriented, but there's no need to feel uneasy. I'm here to guide you. You must get to the third floor, Jean. What's this? An elevator. You could get to the third floor in an instant with this. I remember this. I built this. But it's useless to you without a fuel cell. 
Does that ring any bells? Uh, fuel cell. I can't remember.
She played the violin like an angel. Her music and her smile were so beautiful. I was gripped the moment I saw her. Do you love her? You can hear me? Is this not a recording? Answer the question. Yes. More than anything. Where is she? Is she here? That all rather depends on what you mean by here. Is she here in the mansion? Are you sure that's where you are?
could you do this to me? I thought we were partners! You cheated me! You were only my assistant. It was my project. I'm the one that perfected the formula! I deserve at least half the money! You even said you couldn't have done it without me! I don't care what you did! It's my patent and it's my money! Now get out of my sight! I won't forget this! certain ancient civilization. When a man died, his heart was weighed against a feather to judge his purity during life. How heavy is your heart, Jean? How heavy with sin? Who are you? What's going on here? Where is Evangeline? I cannot tell you the answers. Only show you how to find them. Do you remember what happened in this room? I don't remember. Why can't I remember? Be patient, Jean. First, you should light a candle. It's rather dark in here, don't you think?
Twenty years. Twenty years have gone. Yet my past pursues me like a starving vulture. Each letter from Guillaume, filled with such rage and venom, is a thorn in my mind. I cannot sleep without seeing his face. I locked the compound in my safe, and threw the key into the fire. I know no other way to bear it, but to put it out of my sight. I am afraid to speak to Guillaume. I have no words that would abate his anger. I am afraid of Evangeline seeing these letters. I don't want her to see my shame. I wish to be a decent man. Well, I am a smoking man.
man came to the house this morning. His name is Guillaume. Do you know him, Sean? Was it all a dream? Was it not real? Dreams are real, Jean. Even the ones inside your head. In this mansion, though, they are a little more... substantial. What was it? What was that monster? How cruel to call him a monster. He used to be your partner, until you betrayed him for the money. If there is a monster in these halls, it is only one that you created. Turpentine.
I remember now. I killed myself in this room. You picked your poison well. You died quickly, though not without pain. Then I must be in hell, doomed to suffer for my damnable sin. Hell is only a human invention, though you may call it that if it feels more comfortable. It is not for your suicide that you are being punished, John, but for the event that inspired it. I don't remember. I can only remember sorrow. What did I do? Is it to do with Guillaume?
doomed to die over and over? Why are you forcing me into this twisted game? It is necessary, Jean, to atone for your sin. Each step you take has a purpose. Th though your labors cause you great pain, they draw you closer and closer to the truth. I don't even remember what I did! Just tell me what to do to end this, and I'll do it! You need only keep moving, Jean. Return to the elevator. It will take you where you need to go. To the third floor. Then you will understand why you are here. Forgotten? Oh, I never did. Every minute of every day, I contemplate my revenge. I call mad! I have no one left. No family, no wife, no children. And it is all because of you. Death would be too good for you, Sean. You took everything from me, and I will return the favor. me, coward! Because you can 
cannot bear the thought. This is a coward's debt. This is your debt. So, Jean, what will you do now? Not too late, John. You can still redeem yourself. Save her, Jean. Protect your beloved Evangeline. We've been married for 20 years, Jean. I know when something is troubling me. You can tell me. I'm sorry, my love. I'm too ashamed to speak of it. Do you not trust me? I will not judge you harshly, my love. If you are a decent woman, as I know you are, then you will. Hurry, Jean. Do you really want to watch her die again? Or will you save her? There's no time left, Jean. Evangeline, my love, I will never forget the sound of your voice, or the songs of your violin, or the shine of the morning sun on your hair. You showed me such love and passion, far more than I deserved. I am sorry. I could have saved you, but my cowardice held me back. I allowed you to die while I lived. I am sorry, my love. I was not worthy of you. I wished to be a decent man, but it was only a lie. I can only pray that you have gone to a better place than I. Given everything, may I be deserving to meet you there. I did not think you had it in you, Jean. You've grown far beyond what I expected. You overcame a great fear, a fear that bested you in life. Of course, life is short. Your punishment, however, is eternal. This is your debt, Jean. This is a coward's debt. Wake up, Jean. There is much work to be done. You must get to the third floor. <laughs>